we need a new toilet. A chemical one like this is just too much to have to empty when you're living in a van full time. So we decided to get a compost toilet and then we saw the price of it, so we decided to make a compost toilet. We're also quite limited as our space for the toilet is very small and most of the compost ones are too big for it or too small in that you'd have to empty it every single day. So we're gonna show you how we made our own one and this is extremely simple and I really do believe that anyone can make this. Mm -hmm. So here's what you need, a bin. We chose a 20 litre one because Beth's parents had a spare one, a urine separator device, a jug for your number ones, batons for the structure, ply for the casing, let's go. So because our toilet isn't very tall, we decided to cut a notch out of the bin so that the separator could sit inside of it to keep it kind of the same height. So this is the bin that we're using and this is the separator that we've chosen because it was the cheapest one. It's a half separator or you could get the full ones, but we're using this one. So basically we wanted to make a notch so that this would sit, not just sit next to it because then you could get a mess down there, but so it would just sit above it so that if there are any drips or any accidents, it will go somewhere rather than just down the gap. So what we've done is we've drawn around this, so around the bottom, and then measured one centimetre up and we're actually going to cut the upper line. So hopefully it should just sit on top like that. So forgive the appearance, the second hand bin which we're going to clean up, but we've cut the notch in now and this is the separator. It's going to sit like that and luckily it fits. So Susan, this is a temporary wee jug option. <laughs> and if you're going to sit in like that, but now I know that it's going to fit and we can begin the actual toilet box structure. Um, and basically we're just going to get some compostable bags, 20 litre ones. It'll wrap itself around there and down there. This goes on top, attached to the lid. And then that lids up when you want to empty the bag and empty the wee. Sits back down. And then the lid of the toilet seat rather will then do its own mechanism. So a very, very simple one, isn't it? Yeah, and the good thing about this is that if for whatever reason this goes off or whatever... Goes off, goes out of date. It's a fairly <laughs> easy thing to replace. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it might go off with your poo in it. <laughs> no, don't say that. Then we knew it fit, so it's time to move on to the next step, which is building the box structure. In videos like this, you'll see that the whole building process is really quick and the video is probably going to be over in like 10 minutes or less. Uh, in reality, most of the time is spent looking at pieces of wood, putting them all together, realising, no, nope, that's not right, doing it again for many hours, isn't it, Jake? <laughs> we make it seem like it's a real quick, easy process, but really we're spending an entire day just thinking. Thinking about <laughs> it and measuring it and making sure that it's going to be easy to use and all of that stuff. So we'll get back to you after this boring bit's done. Our measurements were pretty much decided for us since we only made the box wide enough to accommodate the bin and thin enough to fit under the seat and the height was determined by the bin height. While I sort the battens, Beth made sure they were lovely and smooth. One thing that's very important, very important to me anyway, is making sure that the edges are all nice because sometimes you get like a really big like spike or like the splintery bits and obviously you don't want that so just making sure they're all kind of nice and rounded like this. Okay, so we're skipping apart a lot of the boring path and what we've essentially done is made our base, our top and the four legs all cut to size, depending on what size bin you're going to go for of course. We'll leave our ones somewhere if you want to get the same bin as us, this generic 20 litre one. Um, basically, because I know we're going to screw here and also screw into the legs, I've taken the time to pre-drill some holes there and there. And what this basically means is that when I put the screws in, so Oh, we've gone for 70mm wood screws. You'll be able to screw in that way to hold those two together, but also there's enough space next to it to have the screw into the leg. Then it was time to screw all the pieces together to create your cube, and Beth had the great idea of using a spare baton against the other two so that you could make sure it was flush and it worked a treat. And luckily our bin and separator still fit when the whole box was put together. But it was too big if we were to use 9mm ply to club the sides with it because we didn't have quite enough depth in our area where, we, where it needed to go to have two 9mm pliers, you know, one on each side. So we went and got some more batten just to make sure it was reinforced because now that the ply wasn't going to reinforce it, we needed to do it with batten and then we used 5mm ply instead, um, which meant that it actually fitted in the area. But if you have the space, we recommend using 9mm ply because it will just be stronger. Okay, so because we couldn't use 9mm or 12mm ply to clad it, we are using 5mm ply, which obviously means it's not going to be as strong. So what we've done is we've got some more patterns and just reinforced the box that way. 
and then here's the front side so this part's closer to the front which gives gives this screw a bit more support so you're not putting all your weight on that screw um, just reinforced it because the side walls are and walls are going to be thin reinforcements in it was time to fit the sides we did the front and the back first so when it came to drawing the sides it would account for the extra one centimeter from the front and back ply we just laid out the box on the ply and marked in pencil where to jigsaw now we have just put the sides on it haven't we jake jake's sitting on it just seeing what it's like um it's got sides nice 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 i'm gonna take the um the toilet and thingy out so we can show you so we actually just put so the ply on the sides was really simple wasn't it yeah we're we <laughs> going to do the base obviously yeah and then the top's going to be 12 mil ply with the hole cut in yeah and then the, a fashioned out lid kind of thing and so for the bottom we use five millimeter ply again because we're not going to be lifting it up and down we're just going to be sliding it in and out but i will add some spare vinyl floor into the bottom of it just to make it slide out a bit more smoothly so for the toilet seat and the lid we use 12 millimeter ply which we had left over from our van build we've got the box now got our base got our lid which is going to add to the toilet seat slash lift up lid to access the thing i have taken this part into the house and i have drawn a hole not a hole, I drawn a circle around a toilet seat in the house and then to make to get started on it and I'm going to jigsaw it out but first I put a little uh, drill hole right here that way I can just get the jigsaw blade in there and crack on with it look at that, that's pretty good isn't it right now we have to test it yeah so we go in there deposits go in the back that's not too bad needs a good sand down definitely gonna decorate it make sure it's all varnished stained maybe painted then i made the lid and put a little curve in it just to give it a little bit of style so we have the box now in its nearly finished format i'm quite impressed with it actually i think i've made something quite tidy quite neat i thought it wasn't gonna i didn't think it was gonna look this good to be honest but i'm um, quite happy with it that's happy with it too. A couple of hiccups with the limitation of the size meant that we had to do a few things a bit differently. So the seat's fine, the lid's fine. That's just gonna go like that. But unfortunately I wanted this part to open to you know, access the bag and the wee pot. But I can't do that that way anymore because the separate thing spout would be hitting the wood here and especially if it had another attachment on it to reduce the size down so it's going to have to be a side opening thing now so we can still access everything but a bit different but apart from that chuffed with it found some big door hinges which will be able to do that and the seat lid and that's what we're going to crack on with now and then beth's going to make it all as pretty as the toilet can be by uh, varnishing it i think Obviously that makes, also means that any uh, villages can be easily wiped up. We sanded and planed down any sticking out bits, ready to fit the hinges. And I wasn't sure what hinges to use, but I found these large ones from Screwfix and they seem to have done the job quite well. Now these holes here, I have just drilled into the wood to help the screws sit a bit more flush because I couldn't find small enough screws that would sit flush with the brackets, the hinges. So I had to do a little uh, DIY job there, but that's the result of our hinges. So a really important thing to think about, obviously, is the costs of building it, because they're so expensive to buy ready-made. So our separator, which was the cheapest that we could find, was £47. The battens were £18, and that was three 2.4 metre long ones. Um, the 5mm ply sheet was the smallest sheet that you can get, and that's £13. And the hinges were £238, which was a total of £80.38. Um, now, things that we managed to get for free, because we like to reuse things and find second hand things um, was the bin which my parents had a really old one we just cleaned it out and it was fine the 12 millimeter ply was left over from our van build luckily um, the jug for the Wii we haven't bought it yet um, but that's not gonna be too expensive and then the varnish we have a little bit left over from our van build hopefully that's enough but it's not too expensive for some yacht varnish so that was it just for us a total of 80 38 maybe a little bit more if you need to buy the extra things that we managed to find left over 
So it's not quite finished yet, but you get the idea on how to build your own compost toilet. And the thing that I really, really want to do next, I'm kind of disappointed that I couldn't fit it in and get it in this video, was varnishing it and just making it look really nice. Also, the varnishing it obviously helps make it easy to clean and stuff like that. But I promise you that when I have varnished it, I'll put a picture up on Instagram, either or probably both my own Instagram, she is Lost Girl, or our, our Water Horizons account. Um, so check those out, I'll put the link in the description and you can see a picture of the finished toilet. And we will obviously show you at some point in one of these videos, potentially as well. Yeah. One extra thing that we did decide on though, we decided to keep the separator not fixed to the lid, just so that it's easier to clean out yeah. and wipe away. Um, but usually, so... a lot of the time, people do attach the separator to here. Um, but I just thought, like, inside there it'd be really hard to clean in between the plastic and the wood because it would much be stuck there we'll try it out and see how it is not attached and if we want to touch it we can always do that but for now we're quite happy with it like this mm -hmm. so. and that's it okay. so that is the end of our toilet video today so thank you ever so much for watching we hope it has helped you hopefully you build your own compost toilets after watching this video and and at some point in the future we don't know when we'll we might make a video about our experiences using obviously we've been using our chemical toilet for over a year and when we've been using this one for a little while we'll let you know which one we like and why and then we'll have some more idea about the kind of sawdust or coconut stuff or whatever we yeah. put inside it and we'll try all that out and that's yeah. for another video though yeah. so so please consider subscribing if you liked it give that a thumbs up and we'll see you next time